evening! And we at the Hairy Game Lords have been sent this by those lovely fellas at Hatchet Board Games. Daimyo, Rebirth of an Empire. What did we think? Hi, Dave the Grey. Now, this is a very nice game to look at. And Ange likes artwork, I like custom meeples. And the first thing that you will see on this, there's a lot of, and lots of meeples and everybody has some fairly standard ones, but there's different types and their own special teeny tiny resource meeples. Little cogwheels, they're ace. Love them. I do love a nice meeple. And the components generally are really, really good. Apart from the player boards. Now we've all been spoiled by Kickstarters, but the player boards, my 3D printer, I think might have to uh, do something to that. But everything else, nice chunky dice, really nice meeples, counters, good quality. Everything else looks the part. Now, what I will say is when you first get this out, it does look like there's an awful lot going on. Um, however, I think the other guys will say, once you've got that first turn out of the way, it's actually not nearly as hard work as it looks. It is place your worker, get resources, do your jobs, fairly straightforward, but it does look very, very busy and quite daunting to start with. It's not as heavy going as you think. What it is, is short and tight. Um, and you've only got five turns, three things to do each turn, and all of a sudden it's the end of the game and you haven't done half of what you wanted to do. And then you've lost. Um, it was really, really close at the end. Pete just pipped it. I'm sure he will tell you all about that. But nice and thinky, even with the limits that you've got, you just cannot do everything. So it is one of those, concentrate on what you're good at. Really, really enjoyable game. Uh, definitely learned quite a few things from our first playthrough that will mean next time I will beat Pete. Because that is what is important in life. Two thumbs up from me. Bearded Lady here, and this game is brilliant. Really, really enjoyed this game. You're going to need a big table because the board is massive. Um, but there's really nice uh, kind of just the artwork on the board. So there's like the background, uh, which is really, really nice. Nice, bold, bold colours. Um, lots. It feels like there's lots going on just before anything goes onto that board um, <clears throat> but then when you've added in all of your those custom meeples it's just a, a feast for the eyes now everyone starts off in this game with uh, three basic cards and you uh, deal you shuffle them you deal yourself two and you can play these cards if the dice that are uh, you have kind of drafted into your player board so you draft in a certain colour, uh, goes onto, a di onto the colour that you need it to, you're able to do a number of different things from that. But the number on that dice then, if, if you get the number that you need either from one dice or, or one die or from multiple dice in your, in your, on your player board, it has to be the exact number, then you can play one of the cards that's in your hand. Uh, so there's like, you start with five, there's three, five, and seven. You have to have that exact number to be able to play the card as kind of like a, a bonus afterthought, if you will, on your go. You can then buy, so these, are, so those are the basic ones, and you know, great artwork on there, the great figures and stuff like that, but that basic background uh, of your colour. But then at the end of each round, you can go to the market and you can buy these cards. Now, these cards, I just think, are absolutely amazing in terms of the artwork. Look at that. Just awesome. What I love about that is, is that there's no border on there. You've just got that, those beautiful colours, that amazing artwork going all the way to the edges. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And again, you've got on the top right 
you have the number that you need to be able to play this card once it's in your hand. Uh, you've got some a really cool uh, uh, sort of like effect. And then the what's also really cool is is that at the end it, it, you've got the the money that it costs you there. So that this costs two coins, but at the end of the game, um, those coins uh, are, go towards sort of uh, victory points at the end. And as does all of these hero cards that are in your hand. So I like that. I like the way you're not kind of like uh, giving up on end scoring points by purchasing some of these awesome cards that really not only look great, but work really well in your hand. Uh, but actually they go towards your end score. Fantastic. Love that a lot. Really, really enjoyed this game, despite me becoming... Very, very last. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of fun. I'll let the others explain. But again, for me, this bearded lady, a big two thumbs up. Oh my days, really, really hit the sweet spot for me in terms of it It looks heavy, but it's not as heavy as you'd think. So I'd put it as kind of that mid, mid-weight Euro. Um, I like the fact that it plays in five rounds, so you have got that You've, it doesn't out, outstay its welcome. We played first game, learning game, in just over two hours. I think it says it's about a 90-minute game, so that would be about right, and I think we'd bring it down a little bit on our next, you know, on the next two or three plays through. Um, I just love the absolutely amazing mix of mechanics on this. So Andrew's already said, you've got dice drafting in there. You've got um, worker placement. You've got the whole thing. of So basically, you've got your player board, You've got two red actions that you can take. That's about getting uh, meeples out onto the board in terms of your workers, in essence, or you can get buildings out on the board. Um, your workers do both things. They give you a kind of your points for your kind of area control type points that go towards potential victory points at the end of the round. And they also give you resources. You've got two different types of buildings. One of them goes for kind of area control. One of them goes for resources. So you can split that way. Your green ones, you're going to be um, harvesting your resources. So you get hold of all your resources from any of your workers and from your little farms. Here you're going to be able to access another mechanic, which is basically, really, I guess it's a simple set collection game. There are coloured tiles that are relics. And is it relics? Relics, yeah. That are relics. You have to get four, one, two, three, and four from each of the different, from a colour. And that gives you, you sort of, collected all of that relic and on that colored island you then get if you're the first person to do that you get three area control points in that zone which again at the end of each round the the first person who has area who has area majority is going to get points on that one and then you've got this kind of blue one there's only one of those but that allows you to level up a hot use of storage area for your set collection game you've got a little tile bit in the middle that you can get some extra bonuses and then you've got the whole thing of the cards that Andrew's already talked taught about so you can pick up one of the cards from your um, the deck that over throughout the game you're going to be building a better quality deck so you've got deck building you've got worker placement you've got dice drafting you've got set collection you've got end game scoring points you've got end of round area majority points this has got a number of different game types all mixed in which you would think would be an absolute nightmare to try and learn, but it gels really well. It's not complex to play. It really does flow. Um, I love the fact, you you know, in essence, you've got 15 turns. That's it. Um, which It's does not it, enough. It's never enough. But actually, because of the way this game plays, it it means that it doesn't outstay its welcome. It's just, it, it's weighted really nicely. It's balanced really well. And like we say, it was a close run thing. I thought it, there was a moment just before, you know, I, I was well ahead. But then because of the way that the points as the rounds go through get bigger for the area majorities, I I was in my own little corner building up quite a nice little majority without getting any of it. Any, hardly anybody was over in my space. Obviously, as the game goes and people realise, right, I've maxed out my tree. No one's catching me. I'll start... So they started to overtake me on a couple of mine and it got really, really tight at the end. And it was only, it was down to a couple of look at cards that I'd got that allowed me to to play, to basically gain the majority back on one space, which took me from losing and having no points on that to gaining five points. And if I hadn't done that, I think I'd have been third. So it was that close. Really, really good game. 
beautiful design. Thank you so much and a massive thumbs up from this hairy game lord. All right, Mark the Viking here. Now, first off with this game, first thoughts in seeing it, I was like, oh, there was a lot of pieces there. I am not going to be able to understand this. But literally, by the first second go, I was like, I actually know, I know exactly what I'm doing. And by that, I came in second to last because I knew what I was doing. Now, <laughs> each of the uh, character cards uh, have got their own special ability that you can see there. Now, I properly looked out with mine because it meant that for the three dice that I had on my board, if it equaled more than 13, then I could get two extra resources. And Dave was very not happy about it. That was definitely the best way to play him at and the most used one that I had. Uh, I think overall it was just loads of fun and everything. It, you could have conversations across it all, just enjoying it. And it was a bit like stabbing each other in the back as well, like what me and Dave did. So it's always good. But again, if you don't want Pete to win, make sure you get him first. <laughs> anyway, get it. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs>